Okay, you guys, I gotta start over. I, right in the middle of my video, my telephone rang. Um, I heard something really hysterical today, so I wanna I wanna try to give you some truth about about this whole situation. So I mean, I've heard for a while now these demon slayers saying that demons can't read your thoughts, they can't read your mind. Um, well, the fact of the matter is, demons are the one that create your mind. Demons are the one that create the psychological mind. Of course, they can read your mind. They're the ones sending you your thoughts because they're not yours. So that is a fallacy. That is an absolute fallacy. And I just, I crack up, man. I just crack up listening to this stuff. These people don't know what they're talking about. They've never studied the occult. And, and yet they're out here calling everybody else a, de a demon and a witch. Who gives them the right? Who gives them the right? This is what I want to know. And uh, the one who calls himself the real pastor, telling people, to, maybe you need counseling. Um, no, nobody needs counseling because the psychological mind isn't real, sleeper. So the other thing that I heard today, which was really funny, Prophet Lovey was saying that um, the, what he was telling this woman, um, he said he can't believe that people were saying that he's using dark powers because what he just told this woman was a secret that, that familiar spirits don't know these things. It's a secret. And what he's doing is not word of knowledge. It, he has a prophetic spirit. Okay, so let, let's get some truth here. Let's get some truth. I don't know anything about familiar spirits or any other kind of spirits. Here's what I'm going to tell you that I do know about. I've told you all throughout the Bible that Jesus was using the fourth dimension. And so were some of the apostles. There's, there's stories in the Bible where some of the apostles were walking down a road and then... Next thing you know, they were across the river in another town. Uh, Jesus was actually coming through walls. He was using the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is called the Akash. And in the Akash is where matter can be changed. This is where people who practice the occult can teleport items from other dimensions. It's through the Akash, through the fourth dimension. That's where all of this stuff happens. Okay, so what else is in the fourth dimension? Well, there's a little something there called the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records, which are also located either in the fourth or the fifth dimension. The Akashic Records. You see, our thoughts, our energy, our thoughts are energy. In fact... This is why if we think negative thoughts about other people, we can actually send curses to other people. Our thoughts are energy. And in fact, as far as my understanding is right now, through my own experience, our thoughts are actually negative spirits. So... We could quite possibly be, when we think negatively about other people, we could be sending demonic spirits to other people. Every single thought that we have, from the psychological mind, understand the psychological mind is in the soul aspect of us. These demons run the psychological mind. Every single thought you have ever had is listed in the Akashic Records. Every demonic being has access to every thought you've ever had. So for anyone out here to think that no demons can know your thoughts, that, that what, what happens in your life is private, let me tell you something. This is spoken by a sleeper believing that they are this body, that you could ever have anything that's private in the spirit realm because nothing about you is private. 
Nothing about you is private. How do you think these demons attack you when they know that you're sinning? How do these demons know that you're sinning? How many people are on this planet? How do these demons know you're sinning? Nothing you do, nothing you think is private. Nothing. Nothing. There is something called the Akashic Records. And what I'm getting right now is that the Akashic Records are in the fifth dimension. They're in the fifth dimension. Every spirit in the spirit realm has access to your Akashic Records. They have everything you've ever done, thought, said. From the time you were born until the time you die. It's listed in these records. This in fact, and I was shown this. I was shown this. This in fact are what these psychic mediums are tapping into. These demons are looking at people's Akashic records. And then they feed the information to the psychic medium. So... This is why these psychic mediums can be so accurate. So now, if, if these people out here are playing with New Age stuff, and they're hearing voices telling them private things about people, well, no, there's no such thing as a private thing about anybody. Sorry, there is not. And people who can access the Akashic Records know everything there is to know about you. You have no secrets. And I want you to understand how truthful this really is. See, God is the one who can be every place at one time. These demons can't. They keep a record on everybody. Why? Because they are inhabiting everybody. They're keeping a record of how many souls they win. How do you think uh, they can go up to the, the, the courtroom of God and, and just tell on all of us? How do, they, how do they keep record of all of these things? Yeah, it's, it's a place called the Akashic Records. Nothing that we think, do, anything is a secret. Nothing is. So maybe you'll think twice about the negative things that you're thinking about people, the, ne the things that you're doing what kind of evil is really in your heart when you're attacking people out here because it's all known you can't hide it from anybody and these demons know exactly what you're thinking exactly what you're feeling because they're the ones pumping you with these things until you transcend the world and transcend the personhood do you understand and they're the ones who are keeping the blinders on you. This is why it's only the Holy Spirit who can lift the veils from you. You must, you must do your own work to break away from the world. You know, and now you're starting to truly understand why Jesus said what he said. And no, none of us are, are meant to be living our cushy little lives here in our private jets with our millions of dollars. That's what Satan wants you to do. And for those of you that have fallen for it, oh yeah, these demons are in the courtroom of heaven just telling on you left and right. Just telling on you left and right. So understand, there is, there is an actual place in the fifth dimension where the Akashic records for every single one of us are. And these demons have access to everything. There is nothing that's a secret. There is nothing that's a secret. And you all really need to understand this. 
And let me tell you, I, I know this from personal experience dealing with that former guru. I know it. So uh, this is real. This is real. And this is why I have said what I have said out here. But these sleepers out here, as always, they believe they know so much more than I do. And they know absolutely nothing. And they're not willing to learn. And they're not open to correction. See all the projection that's going on out here. See, remember the video the other day about people who stand on their own will never be successful. And especially someone who's not open to correction. You're seeing it all around you. You're seeing it all around you. See, if I had a massive ego, I would have spilled all this stuff out years ago. Or at least a year ago. To put all of these people in their place. But no, what did I do? I lowered myself down as to not be a threat to these people. Because I saw that I was a threat to their ego. Which is why they started attacking me. So I lowered myself down. To make them think that I didn't know anything. And I was willing to learn from them. And no, they still called me a witch and a demon. And I sat here laughing at every single one of them. The demons absolutely know, absolutely know what you're thinking. They absolutely know what you're thinking. They're the ones creating your thoughts in the psychological mind. As I've said a million times, your psychological mind is not real. You are the spirit man. Everything you've ever thought, said, and done is listed in the Akashic Records. Yep, every single being in the spirit realms knows everything you're thinking and doing and knows what kind of hate you have in your heart. You can't hide from the spirit realm. And they're up in the courtroom of heaven just telling on you left and right. So yeah, you know, uh, If you're dabbling in uh, New Age, and I heard some of those people over there talk about the chakra system, if that's your bag, well then you better think very carefully about who you're getting your information from, because it may not be the Holy Spirit. Just saying, just saying. You're also fast to call me a witch and a demon. I don't play with any of this stuff. I've renounced all of it. And you're still calling me a witch and a demon. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Y'all have a blessed day.